Where we left off in my last video, um, we have a form that is processing itself on one page. Um, if I let's start over here, if I hit submit, it will give me errors. Um, I can um, enter names um, and it will process. But notice it clears out the values of the form. So let's say I entered uh, just the first name but not the last name. It gives an error and it clears out the values. And that could be really irritating. Now I do want to mention in a later video I'll show how to get rid of the form after you submit it as well. But today I just want to talk about how to maintain the value in a form field when you submit a form with PHP. And to do that, we're going to need to add um, something to our form tag, and that is a value attribute. Now let me jump over to a close-up view of what I'm going to be adding and describe what's going to happen. What we're going to add is um, value equals, and then the things inside the quotes are going to change based on if there is a value or not. So inside of here, I have my open and close PHP tag, and then I have an if statement. Now, normally an if statement goes across multiple lines, but since this is a simple, if it's this one thing would happen, we can do it all in one. So inside of that, I have if is set post F name. So F name is referring to the field uh, in the form that's gonna store first name. And is set is just checking to see if something exists. Is it a set? So if it's set, F name, if it has something, it will then echo what is in it. If it doesn't have anything, if this comes up false, if there is no value, it won't echo anything and it'll be value equals quote, quote. So this looks like a long, crazy thing it kind of is, you have to be careful of the parentheses and such, but we'll just be adding that to our form tags. I would recommend adding one, making sure it works, then you can copy it over to your other ones. So let me go ahead and add that to first name. So now we've got input, type, text, name, F name, and then I just hit space, value equals quote. Now keep in mind I'm doing my open PHP tag, and then I'm checking to see if, if is set, and then in parentheses again, post, square bracket, F name. So I'm working on the field that I'm is called F name, so I'm checking it so it's its own name. Then I'm going to echo post F name. And at the end, I need a semicolon. Then I need to close out my PHP. So then I've got the question mark greater than symbol. So we've got our open PHP tag, our closing PHP tag, all inside of these double quotes, which belongs to value. And inside of that, we've got if, it's checking to see if there's a value in this field. And if there is, it's going to echo what is in that field. So let's save this and see what this actually becomes in HTML. Okay, so we've got first name. Now I should be able to enter something and when I hit submit, it should keep it. You forgot to enter your last name, right? But notice this stayed. Let's look at the page source. So notice now it added in, we've got our first name, it's F name value equals Ted because I entered that into the form. So this will change based on what's in there. Now let's go ahead and add that to the last name. Luckily it goes much quicker. You can just go ahead and copy this. Now I need to make sure that it stays within the form input tag. So we've got the uh, less than symbol there, greater than symbol there. So I'm just copying this value equals up to the quote. I'm going to paste that in here. And then I just need to change this to apply to this field. So in this case, I have L name. I'm going to save this and try it out. 
first name John. Okay, that stayed. Okay, and notice now both of them stay. And like I said, at some point I will be making a video on how to get rid of the, the form when you're done.